This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society, an undergraduate course offered by the Department of Linguistics at the University of Illinois. In this module of our course, we are examining the broad issue of how writing as a form of language technology represents language. In this video, we are examining the question of phonological awareness. The learning objective for this video is to identify certain linguistic features that speakers are more intuitively aware of and identify other features of which awareness must first be taught. In the upcoming series of videos, we are going to examine many of the world's first writing systems, as well as major writing systems that were subsequently developed. One question which may naturally come to your mind as we examine these various writing systems is why weren't alphabets developed earlier? We will see as we go through some of these early writing systems that the earliest writing systems were not alphabets, but rather some other form of writing system. So why is it that alphabets were developed later? One important issue that may help us answer that question is the issue of phonological awareness. Phonological awareness is the ability of a speaker of a language to break up words into their component sounds. Early societies likely lacked explicit understanding and awareness of phonology. Other linguistic features, such as syllables and words, and depending on the language, morphemes, may be more obvious and more intuitive to a speaker not trained in linguistics. Phonological awareness is the ability to break up a word into its component sounds. This is something that you probably know how to do to some greater or lesser extent. This is something that if you learned an alphabet as your first writing system, you would have become trained in as you learned to read and write. If you've been trained in linguistics, you would have received much more detailed and sophisticated phonological training. For speakers of early languages, where language technology was first being developed and writing systems first emerged, it seems plausible that those speakers would have first used linguistic units that they were intuitively aware of. The syllable is a linguistic unit that speakers of most languages tend to be relatively intuitively aware of, as are words. Breaking a word into sounds, on the other hand, is a skill, and that skill must be taught. So, phonological awareness is the ability to break up a word into its sounds. This is a taught skill, and is a, this awareness tends not to be instinctive and intuitive. So, it should not be surprising, then, that the earliest writing systems tended to represent more intuitively, intuitive uh, linguistic units, those that the speakers would have been more intuitively aware of, namely syllables and morphemes or words.